Oh, wait. That's not good. You don't want to look at a book. People hate books. Hi, I'm Dave Sprinkleberry, or Mark Prindle for short. Uh, today, I was, you know, there's a lot of good TV shows on TV right now, like uh, The Gong Show and Flo and Enos. Uh, but one thing they don't tell you a lot is that there are also shows being made by the Britishmen of London Way. Shows like uh, Monty Python's Flying Circus and uh, the Paul Hogan Show. No, he's actually from Australia though, so I don't guess that counts. Benny Hill. Uh, and this brand new show that you may have seen on the television called The Young Ones. This is Neil the Hippie, and he has an album of Hippie Matters. Horrible dream I just had. I think this is, oh yeah, this is Hole in My Shoe, which was, I guess, the hit single. See, it looks like the Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Album Club heart. Organically Grown Potatoes, there's Pink Floyd. Because he was the hippie. <laughs> Heavy bummer. That's hippie humor. Let's see. I'm the soggy potato from down under the sink. What's that smell? You farted. Don't be stupid. See, it's just like the television series starring Alexei Sayal and um, Nigel Pullman and Rick Mayall as Rick, the kind of weird guy. And then Vivian was the punk rocker. And then Mike was the cool guy with the sunglasses. You may know this song by. Uh, Oh, Steve Howell's old band did this song, My White Bison. Remember Steve Howell from Yes and Steve Howell album? That's by his old band, whose name I'm blanking on. Uh, the Something or Others, that's what it is. And uh, he does some other... They'd have to queue for two hours, right? And you probably won't want them now because it was me that got them and they're all cold. But anyway, that one's your... And then... Lentil Nightmare. I guess it's a, a heavy metal song, Lentil Nightmare. Man, if you don't own Neil's heavy concept album, man, you are woke. And don't think I paid $15 for it. I bought this in Australia back when our money was worth something there, so it was really only $7.50 by my money. This album came out... Uh, oh, this is the Australian version, I guess. It came out in 19... Uh, 1984. Oh. Tranquility. I talk to Wayne all the time. Uh, oh, do you like the Pink Floyd from uh, the Final Cut? And Here's a song back that the Pink Floyd did on the Final Cut that he does a version of. Tell you a story about a little man who died in the war. Don't like Maggie. Their alcohol. Oh, I love Robert Waters and his final cup. And then uh, don't turn out the lights, you know, in case someone, uh, you know, like treads on you. I wish Mike had made an album, though. Cool, Mike. Because his album would have been like, every song would have been, hey girls, hey girls, I'm Mike. Hey girls, hey girls. Or maybe that punk rocker guy could have done it. And then e everything would have been like, every song would have been, Shut up, you bastards! That's a mohawk. Or maybe Rick could have had his own album and every song could have been like, Shame about Cliff Richard. But no, only the hippie made one. Is for, oh, I left my door open, hang on. I probably look like a fool. Hey, Henry, no one was there. I left the door open. Golf Girl. Bad Karma in the UK. Get out of bed today. The music, man. It reminded them. Me. Do I have to do this? God save the queen. 
It's the sex pastels. Oh, I love those sex pastels. Oh, Nigel Planer is his name. You know who else plays on this? Dave Stewart from the Eurythmics. You hear this? It's like Richard Cheese. And then there's... He, here he does a Butthole Surfers cover. It's got little skits featuring your favorite television British hippie talking about lentils and going, oh, wow, oh, wow. I thought that the best episode, or one of the best episodes, was the one where they went on that game show against Dr. Gregory House. That was good stuff. So it looks like they do covers of bands like the one who did Golf Girl. I don't know who that is. And, oh, Tomorrow was the band that did My White Bicycle. And they do a cover of uh, uh, God Save the Queen, you just heard. Hurdy Gurdy Man by Donovan. Uh, Mike Heron did the Amoeba song. I don't remember who he is. I don't think he's a bird, but he could be. You know, sometimes birds sing little songs. Hole in My Shoe, written by Dave Mason. Uh, let me see. My uh, uh, Hey, Rick Mayall co-wrote Lentil Nightmare. I wonder if he does that funny voice on it. Because that's... Uh, doesn't look like it. No. Doesn't look like it at all. No. No, not at all. Anyway, hope you liked it. If you didn't, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm in the process of moving, so my mind right now isn't really on doing video reviews. I'm packing up all my stuff and getting out, moving to another land, a special land of dogs, dogs and men, and, and women and cats, and fish and trees. And, uh, this is still going? <gasps> oh, no! Oh, oh, no! You want some kibble? <laughs>